Jam School Remix. Benford's Law is one of the most curious natural phenomena I've ever encountered. It rules everything around us, and yet it seems like nobody's heard of it, and you can use it to score a free beer just like this. Shannon, what is the most common random number? Three. <laughs> what would you say the most common random number is? Four. Seven. We're gonna separate into three teams here. I'm gonna draw out the numbers from one, two, nine. We're gonna have teams. One team is gonna be everything left of the four. The other team will be everything right of the four. The four itself is gonna be a dead zone. I'm sticking with my three. You're sticking with three? Yeah. All right, so one, two, and three. What about you, Tom? I think I'm gonna go the five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, yeah, more. what with more there being better. like twice as more many numbers? Better, dude. Crazy better enough, odds. right? All right, what about better you, odds. Keith? side. <laughs> That's really? True. I'm gonna join team one, two, and three. Oh. Right over here. Now this seems crazy because five, six, seven, eight, and nine, there are way more of them, right? Yeah. And the other half, you got one, two, and three. But we're gonna put Brian, Shannon, and Keith, and all by himself, uh -oh. crazy old <laughs> Looking Tom. forward to three drinks, guys. We're gonna have a game where we keep picking completely random numbers, like uh, the mass of Pluto, or the distance from the sun times the average height of an ant. The one thing we're not gonna do is allow people to just pick a number at random. Because when we pick a number at random, we have all these biological biases. We'll pick these random things to multiply, okay. and whatever the first digit is, that will be a random number. So I'll start it off by saying, the population of Los Angeles times, let's say the amount of water in cubic inches in Lake Tahoe. What? And the answer is 2.09 times 10 to the 19th cubic cube. So that no is no way. What? For, no uh, we gotta way. come up with a, we're gonna be the Cougars, that's our team. Versus the, the jerk whales. faces. The jerk, that'll do. <laughs> the Cougars get one. All right, I'll let you go first this time. The amount of words spoken by a human in an average day. I'm guessing that there'll be a bunch of different results for this. In fact, I say we don't even have to multiply anything times now. We'll just let you have that. 15,000 seems low. It seems to me I heard it was more like 30,000 words a day. Either still, way, still win. that's another one for oh, the Cougars. Damn it. Ouch, <laughs> jerk faces. Ouch. <laughs> the mass of Saturn. Times. Molecular weight of uranium. Ooh, that's good. 1.3! 532 yes. times 10 to the 26 oh. kilogram squares per mold. Oh. All right, that's three for the Cougars. All right. Can I even win at this point? No, I'm, I'm done. Right. One more. This will be all, all right, or nothing, all right? right? All this right. Or you'll tie up or okay. you're totally screwed. Okay. Yeah. We'll pick a random word. Yeah. Whoever did the last tweet that had that word in it will look that person up and see how many followers they have. So Deal. what's the word going to be? I'm going to choose cheese. Cheese, of course. <laughs> it's epic it? swag, says, yes. like a cheese stick, like a cheese <laughs> stick. No, Grandma, it's like a G6. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Snapdragon, 8,000 followers. Oh. Dude, it got cocky. Uh, that's uh, that's oh. four points for the jerk faces. Right, jerk. Last one, elevation of Pikes Peak times what? Times the depth of the Mariana Trench. 13 miles squared, which means the Cougars take it. Boom! Benford's law essentially says that all things being equal, completely random numbers in nature tend to have highly more probability of having a one, two, or three at the beginning. It's a logarithmic progression as you go from one all the way up to nine, just about any completely random number. The odds are 30% wow. that that number will start with one. One, two, and three together compose 60% of the spread. So if you look at this original setup that I did for you guys, one, two, and three right there are 60% of the possible outcomes. Now four yeah, is right say, around is four excluded? 10%, right? Uh. So I want the spread to be way in my favor. So yeah, I just yeah, declare yeah. four is a dead number. And I give you five, six, seven, eight, nine. And what's great is you look at this I'm winning. as five possibilities to three, but you don't realize that the total of all of your five, six, it's seven, only eight, 30%. nine, thirty percent, which means we had a two to God one advantage it. of you. you, you <laughs> You deserve three Dude, drinks. Yes. You deserve. Then, yes, oh. Give a cough it up, boss. Again. Intuitively, Benford's law seems so implausible, and yet it's so reliable that statisticians use it to detect financial fraud. That's how they can tell that you're just pulling numbers out of your head because they're not obeying the expected laws of probability. Hey, man, if you're a longtime viewer of Scam School, you know that we love Domain.com. Yes. 15% off by using promo code SCAMSCHOOL at checkout, but more importantly, they let us make goofy sketches like this one.